Hey everyone, Dr. Alex Ritzy here, a downtown neurostructural chiropractor, and we're doing Facebook Live and Instagram Live at the same time today. And this is Lunch and Learn TV episode 15, and we're doing a follow-up to last week. And last week we talked about how to make sure that you get the best possible sleep and that you are sleeping on the best mattress for your spine. We talked about how to find a supportive mattress and one that's actually going to give your spine what it needs. So today we're going to be talking about pillows. We had a post last week uh, about no more stomach sleeping and finding the right pillow for you and it got a lot of love. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So uh, we got a couple pillows here with us today. This is just our pretty pillow from the bedroom and then we have our actual memory foam pillow. So when we're trying to find uh, a pillow that works for us, what we want to do is we want to make sure that again, the head is getting the support that it needs. And so what I mean that if you're sleeping on your side, the pillow has to have enough space or be big enough to travel between uh, your shoulder, where the bed is, and have enough space to fill all of this gap in here so that it supports your head. And same thing, if you're on your back, you have to have enough support so that it fills in the space uh, at the back of your skull so that again the neck is supported and when the neck is supported it means the muscles in the neck don't have to tighten up to try and give your spine the support it needs. So the big thing that I would look for if somebody's sleeping on their back is that their ear and shoulder are lined up with their hip. If their ear and shoulder are lined up with their hip I know that they're getting the support that they need but the head is not being pushed too far forward. And what I want to see if somebody's sleeping on their side is that their nose is parallel to the ground uh, and parallel to the bed. If there's too many pillows, obviously the nose is going to be pointing up to the sky. And if there's not enough pillows, the head's going to be, you know, pointing towards the floor because there's not enough support. Uh, as a note to that that I want to add, a lot of people when they come in, they say they get numbness or tingling at night and they find that their arm is underneath their, their head trying to add the support. And the body is really, really smart. If you find that your arm is wiggling underneath your pillow and wiggling underneath your ear, the body is just trying to give itself more support. It's telling you you probably need a bigger, thicker pillow, trying to push the head up in the correct position. So let's talk about pillows for a bit. Uh, if you are in the market to buy a new pillow or looking to get a new pillow, we have a pillow buying guide that is available online. If you type in Dr. Alex Ritza and pillow guide onto the Google, uh, our pillow guide will come up and that will guide you through the steps that you need to uh, go through in order to find the perfect pillow for you. So I really, really encourage you to do that. I think it'll make a big difference uh, when you go to make that purchase. And just remember that you spent a third of your life on that pillow. Uh, it's worth the money. I think we spent about $200 on our pillow. I would happily spend five if it was going to guarantee the most incredible night's sleep. Uh, so just a personal thought. So if you find that you're sleeping on a soft pillow like this, these can be okay, but I find they don't actually provide enough support because again, if I push down with my hands, I can easily touch uh, or feel the hands on the opposite side because there's not a lot of support in here to hold up my head. So as a demonstration, let's show the difference between our good memory foam pillow and this one here. So if I were to lie on my side on my couch, which I don't recommend you do is sleep, you can see I don't get a ton of support. My shoulder's digging in to, uh, to the mattress and I'm not getting a lot of love in through the neck. And in this case, because the pillow is actually too big, you can see it's pointing my nose up towards the sky, which I don't really love. So not a great pillow. This one might suffice because it's a nice feather one if you want to sleep on your back. But if you're going to sleep on your side, this fellow feather pillow is, is not a great option because it's either not going to have your nose parallel to the ground uh, if you're on your side or you're going to have to get your hand in underneath. Uh, so when we talk about, I think my favorite pillows are, are like a memory foam orthopedic pillow with, you know, you can see there's two waves here. If you have one of these, a lot of people make the mistake is they sleep with the small part under them when they're on their side. So it's actually supposed to be the bigger wave that's underneath you when you're sleeping on your side and the smaller part underneath you when you're sleeping on your back. So uh, one thing I like about this pillow is that we actually have a insert in here. And so this insert is a riser and the riser ensures that I get enough support between my shoulder 
and my and my head uh, raising the pillow up to me so that way I'm getting uh, a little bit more material between shoulder and neck and it's going to give me a little bit more support in the spine so when I lie down here on the side I'm just realizing it's probably not the best example being on the couch but when I come in here nose for the most part is fairly parallel to the ground this big piece of pillow sitting nicely between uh, my shoulder and my neck. You notice the difference between this pillow is that the shoulders are actually really nicely stacked, my other shoulders aren't digging in, and like this feels like incredibly comfortable. If I were to use this setup on my back, it's a little bit too much. My ears not lined up with my shoulder, my head's being pushed up a little bit too much, and that's a really good way to, uh, to give yourself more of a neck issue. So again, as a bit of a summary, if you are in the market for a new pillow or you're just playing around with the ones you've got at home, uh, you want to have enough support between your head and your shoulder with a bit of a bigger pillow so that you are uh, supporting your neck. If you're on your back and you're really getting the head pushed up, the pillow is too large. Uh, I really like memory foam. I really highly recommend it. I think it works great for me and really great for our practice members. And if you can find a company that sells a riser with it for when you do sleep on your side, I love that as well. Now, the last thing I wanna add is about stomach sleeping. And so, in my experience, a lot of people sleep on their stomach because they just can't get comfortable on their back. And to me, I kinda relate that back to like having a pin in your spine. So if you had a little pin or like a little stone stuck in your spine that was really irritating, which would we call like a shifted joint or a core problem with your spine, if you had that pin, it would probably make it really uncomfortable to sleep on your back. So of course your body being smart and intuitive, it's gonna force you or encourage you to lie on your stomach. And the problem with that is that if I wanna breathe on my stomach, it's, it's really tough. Like in, you can't breathe if you're on your stomach. So you end up cranking your neck up like this, or up like this, or doing all sorts of weird positions. And because of the angle that puts the neck in, and because of the, uh, the strain it adds to the neck, that's a really, really good way to uh, give yourself a core problem with your spine and nervous system that needs addressing by us. So always do your best to sleep on your back or your side. Uh, if you find you have trouble sleeping on your back, it could be that there is a core problem with your spine and nervous system that needs addressing, and that's where professional help comes in. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I hope you guys will leave a comment, a question, a concern, or even a criticism if you're in that type of Monday mood. Uh, otherwise, I hope everyone has an amazing week, sleeps well, and if you want a little bit more help with your sleep, your energy, I really encourage you. We have our reset curriculum available online. It's a 30 plus page document that's going to really work hard to uh, boost your energy, boost your sleep calm your mind and it's all about giving your body the chance to reset every day so that you can make each day your masterpiece. Uh, again, Dr. Alex Ritz, a neurostructural chiropractor. Hope the Instagram live went well for the first time. We're going to check the comments and Facebook live. I will see you guys both next week. Have an amazing week and take care.